The start of a new season is always a big event and the North American Auto Club Gripal Challenge Series starts their year here in Florida at the USA International Speedway for the Sunshine State 200. USA International, a three quarters of a mile track. We will have 150 miles, 200 laps in this Floridian Classic, a very warm evening, 92 degrees, but with cloudy skies and very and fairly strong winds which could make this race very interesting as we get down to the nitty gritty. However, with a very big entry list, we did have to bust out the pre-qualifying process as we will have for most, if not, not, if not all of the season in 2017. And the last car to make it into the grid was Kate Taylor, but behind him, with a very close difference, under a tenth behind him, were Alexis Women, Mike Litterus, and Matt Stern. Two of the S2 Motorsports cars did not make it in, and then three of the Expansion Motorsports cars also didn't make it in, and not by much. They could have gotten in if, thing, if Lady Luck just looked at them a different way. As Creeper Stevenson and Mike Cox long also within three tenths of Kate Taylor and then David Lamar and Steve Gart Jr. by a larger margin but also miss out on starting the first race of the season. But let's take a look at the top 12 in the starting lineup which will begin in this year. In the inside of the front row we have Lucy Barton taking the pole with Jennifer Irving, a rookie in the outside pole having a very good result, Joey Thorson starting in third with Kelly Ashcroft on the outside, the champion and the tryhard 500 winner in the second row, a very powerful row we should look at them. And then you have Peter Johnson in a very nice fifth place in the 69 car with Riley McKee. Uh, in the outside starting 6th, starting 7th and 8th are the two Triumph Motorsports cars uh, Brett Finley, Bob Savage, 7th and 8th, very good qualifying results for them Then we have Caitlin Richler and Corbin Dempsey bringing up role number 5 And rounding out the top 12 will be Kate Taylor who was the first, was the last car to get in in pre-qualifying With Ashley Richardson who also went through pre-qualifying now let's go trackside for this 200 lap classic of stock car racing. As you see the driver's pacing coming to the green, Lucy Barton has Jennifer Irving on her outside, a fantastic qualifying effort by Jennifer Irving. The pace cars off, they enter the restart zone, the green flags in the air and we are off in the 2017 North American Auto Club Grip All Challenge Series season. And Lucy Barton already gets a pretty good jump. Jennifer Irving has lagged. She has lagged hard as Joey Torgson, Riley McKee, and Kelly Ashcroft hound her through. And by lap number two, Torgson, a very aggressive short track driver, comes through, takes second place. Riley McKee and Kelly Ashcroft are now third and fourth. Fifth place back there is Brett Finley. By lap number seven, Jennifer Irving has already fallen to 18th place as the field starts to settle down. Irvin has fallen and continues to fall, it is not good for her as Boyd Abbott, lap 7, blows up, he already didn't have a very good qualifying effort, started in the back and now his race comes to a grinding halt on the 7th lap of the race as the leaders come around, the yellow flag is out as the leaders have opened lap 8 and Boyd Abbott will not and running back to the line Corbin Dempsey, a Leishman and Luke Pellerin all get together in the middle of the field and Pellerin already starts his season behind the 8th ball uh, Pellerin who is pulling double duty as you see he's on the inside of the front row Kate Taylor decided not to pit he's a teammate of Pellerin Pe uh, Luke Pellerin who is gonna be pulling double duty this season running both PCC trucks and the North American Grip Ball Challenge Series full-time both series so it's a very interesting schedule for the young Canadian from New Brunswick as Kate Taylor comes around Lucy Barton hounding him as we enter lap number 18 and Barton is gonna get back to the first position she has newer tires fresher tires a stronger car and here comes uh, Taylor's informal teammate Jamal Schmidt who is also having a very good restart as Stan Gustafsson uh, teammate of Martin finds himself in third place with Joey Torkson, Riley McKee hounding him by and Ryan Faulkner back there in the 89. Joey Torkson isolates himself in the second position, Stan Gustafsson finds himself in third hanging on 
fighting with Riley McCabe. Lucy Barton already puts another lap on Luke Pellerin. Pellerin heading into the pits. That team is having a lot of difficulty getting that car back up to speed after the crash as we reach lap number 38 of 200. A fairly long race. We're going to take around an hour and 15 minutes to get this one sorted out. As Lucy Barton already ready to pass Mega McDonald's. And Mega McDonald's going to fall a lap down as Joey Torkson forces a three wide on Lucy Barton. Barton now is in danger of losing the lead on lap number 43. And here comes Torkson on the inside. He has a push from Luke. Bellerin, the USA International Speedway, a very fast short track, three quarters of a mile, and there goes Joy Torkson for the lead, but, but Lucy Barton does not want to give up, she fights back, but it does not look like it's gonna be enough, Joy Torkson in the number zero, who won the TriHard 500 last year, will take the lead of the race, Thomas Tucker catches them in lap number 46, and he already hounds the 98 uh, for the second spot as they lap the number 14, and oh, problems! Lucy Barton, problems for Lucy Barton, she gets called to the pits, problems for the 98 car coming to lap number 49, we haven't finished uh, a quarter of the, we're gonna get to the end of the first quarter of the race and Lucy Barton is out of contention. Uh, we don't know what happened to that car but the, group, but the team was not ready to get her in and Joey Torkson now finds himself isolated with Thomas Tucker in the lead, those two are gonna be together. Probably for a while, they have a very large gap over third place as Tucker now gets ready to make the move. Tucker goes through and Tucker has the lead. Tucker, uh, in his first season with Ashcroft Family Racing last year, he was on fire but failed to win. Which was weird given Kelly Ashcroft also didn't win that many races. Kelly Ashcroft only won two races but was so consistent she just ran away with the championship. In the meantime... Kristen Young gets lapped by Thomas Tucker. Tucker now getting ready to lap his teammate, Kelly Ashcroft. She does not have power at all in that car. She's having a hard time. Uh, we're hearing on radio communication her tires have been difficult, for lack of a better term. And here comes Tucker to lap his teammate as Kay Taylor is going to go to the pits on lap number 58. He also not having the ideal run in 32nd place. Thomas Tucker is the first taker amongst the leaders to go into the pits together with him is then is Peter Johnson in the 69, Ibiki Murata, I can see Bobby Savage back there too, and Joy Torkson comes in a lap later, lap number 67, and Joy Torkson goes in for his first uh, pit stop under green, Thomas Tucker comes out, and as you see Kip Lemon back there, he's gonna come down on Thomas Tucker, Tucker punts the 200, yellow flag is in the air, caution! On lap number 70, as Tucker came out of the pits, he was running on the inside. Kip Lemon just came down on him, and Tucker just had no, no way to avoid it. And it's the second uh, caution of the race. Thomas Tucker is going to stay in the lead. Uh, Ryan Faulkner, Hibiki Murata find themselves a lap down. Ashley Richardson finds herself in second place. As we reach lap number 76, we're going to have to restart on lap number 77. Mac Henley, look at him. Uh, third place, Blake Chandler finds himself in sixth place, Rebecca Peller in fourth, Caitlin Richler sixth, uh, fifth, and those are the only cars on the lead lap. This crash happened in the middle of the pit cycle. So Thomas Tucker now is a leader, an uncontested leader. Only Ashley Richardson can put a threat to him, and we only have six cars on the lead lap. So this is going to be a very uh, interesting race from now on. Look, Pellerin punts Adam Patterson for position on lap seven, lap 81. Adam Patterson already three laps down. Ashley Richardson decides to pitch. He's going to change, get fresher rubber. On lap number 83, we're two laps into the caution period. We have not even gotten to halfway. We are three cautions in, which is okay it's fair and she beats Thomas Tucker off the line and Ashley Richardson now is the new leader of the race as we open lap number 87 of 200 we are approaching halfway uh, Jamal Schmidt now a lap down Kelly Ashcroft lap lap to uh, Ryan Faulkner also a lap car and we have contact Jennifer Irving gets tapped by by Ruby Carson and Irving is around a second place starting position has not translated to success at all Ashley Richardson leads the field again. We have still yet to reach lap 100. We are on working lap number 93. Uh, Richardson has had a good restart. She did not find a full-time ride this season, but White Johnson called her up to the 58 car. That car's going to run around 16 races this season, a fair amount of events. 
but Richardson did not find a full-time ride, and that's completely unusual. As you see Thomas Tucker in second, Rebecca Pellerin in third. She was probably the top contender for Kelly Ashcroft's championship, but her lack of consistency ended up being her undoing as Ashcroft locked the title at Texas. As Richardson continues to lead, Kate Taylor, he is technically a teammate of Rebecca Pe He is actually a teammate of Rebecca Pellerin, has been pulling her through. And here comes Pellerin for second place on Thomas Tucker. Mac Haley right behind her. Mac Haley's gonna try a move as we are looking overhead on Kate Taylor. And here comes Henley for the second position. And Caitlin Richler now is the fourth place car as Thomas Tucker is stuck in, fi in fifth. And you can see Richardson has, has been working up a gap. She doesn't even appear on camera most of the time. As you see, she's now working on the lap car of Joey Torkson. But here comes Ryan Faulkner. Faulkner's faster as we are working lap 110 of 291 laps to go. And Richardson's actually going to be able to hang on. Will she? Torkson, a very aggressive uh, driver on the short tracks, showed his worth, won two races last year as a rookie, won Rookie of the Year, and then won the TriHard 500. A fantastic showing for him. And Richardson eventually gets through him, and now she's going to be working on Ali Sandale Nolan. And Nolan been hanging on. He just keeps his line, does what he's meant to do, which is stay out of the way, don't fight her. The basic stuff as we are gonna come to 80 laps to go Richardson continues to lead and she has a very big gap as you see finding himself in third place is Blake Chandler he passed uh, Rebecca Pellerin Pellerin lost a lot of time in the last few laps Mac Henley finds himself in second you have the lap cars of Brad Finley and Kristen Young you can see Pellerin is now stuck between a, a rock and a hard place because she has Riley McKee Ryan Faulkner Corbin Dempsey three very fast cars and she can't quite get through them Caitlin Richler now 5th place, uh, she is working on her teammate Emily Potvin while uh, Thomas Tucker has fallen to 6th with the rise of Blake Chandler, that car has come alive in a hurry as uh, Tucker now working on the lap car of Bruce, Lucia Harper and Jennifer Irving, 3 wide situation there, Adam Patterson, Bobby Savage, we make contact and they are off around, Brett Finley hits the 14 and the two Triumph Motorsports cars have been wiped out. Finley was running seventh. The first car a lap down in his race comes to a screeching halt. And it's such a tough break for the number 15 team who were having a fantastic run after contact between his teammate Bobby Savage in the 51 and Adam Patterson. Adam Patterson has just been a pinwheel this whole race. And Joey Torkson, problems for him, he's stuck in the pits, the car won't restart, he's now falling on the down the running order. And, well, his race is gonna go take a downturn, as Blake Chandler finds himself in second place. Uh, leader, still Ashley Richardson, who gets a very good restart on lap 134, she clears the 38 of Alicente O'Nolan, who has been... Kind of slow, just minding his own business. His teammate Mac Henley now is trying to have an opening, but that's not going to work out. As Torkson, he got that car refired, but had to peel back into the pits. Blake Chandler fighting with Mac Henley. Blake Chandler is going to take the second spot with Rebecca Pellerin pushing him through. As Sandy O'Nolan does not have space to yield, this track is very... Uh, while it's wide, the racing line is very, very narrow. Look at Ronnie Samples coming off the pits, coming back in. That, that, he's going to need new pants. Mac Henley's going to definitely need new pants. As Blake Chandler and Rebecca Pellerin find themselves in second and third. Thomas Tucker, problems for the number nine. And Thomas Tucker's race takes a downturn. He is now in sixth and falling. As we look at the replay of him entering the pits. That is not good at all for the number 9 team. His race takes a downturn. Ashley Richardson, lap number 139, coming to lap number 40. We have 42, 41 laps to go. She leads away. Rebecca Pellerin now past Blake Chandler, finds himself finds herself in second place. Caitlin Richler catching up the number 03 in fourth. And Rebecca Pellerin hangs on to second place. And she has caught the 58 in a matter of five laps. And she's all over the 58. It's going to try to make a move. Jennifer Irving is right there. Jennifer Irving in the middle. And there goes Rebecca Pellerin. Uh, it just the, the moment Jennifer Irving was going to cut down on Rebecca Pellerin, Pellerin made the move and she's the new leader of the race. 
and here comes Pellerin hanging on Richardson chasing Thorson about to go another lap down his race has not been good at all and uh, the same happening to Thomas Tucker here comes Richardson through the 27 using the zero as a pick and here comes Ashley Richardson back into the lead after just 10 laps away from it as we reach lap 157 of 200 we are coming down to the wire we are almost under 40 laps to go and Richardson and Pellerin are side by side no one wants to yield and here comes Richardson for the lead Caitlin Richler third place fourth place is Blake Chandler and and Richardson finally clears Pellerin Pellerin still fighting but here comes Kelly Ashcroft uh, a fire lit under the 99 and she is now back into pace and finds herself in 11th place if she works her positions properly she might take a top 10 out of this but it's gonna be very hard uh, but Ashcroft hanging on as Lucy Barton slowing down that car's done that car's done it's done Lucy Barton slows down in front of traffic very late in the running and lap 162 39 laps to go it is over for Lucy Martin and we get another caution Richardson and Pellerin lead everybody into the pits this is gonna be the final pit stop after this you won't need to refuel you won't need to take new tires and both come in and Richardson comes out still in the lead and this is gonna be our battle for the win we only have a few cars remaining we only have five cars on the lead lap after Thomas Tucker ended up peeling off Richardson gets a fantastic restart on lap 168 Rebecca Pellerin chases her also clears the zero of Joy Torkson Caitlin Richler having a little bit of a hard time there and Richardson runs away with the first position as Pellerin chasing Richler now clears the number zero wins now all over the 27 Lucy Martin got back on track but that car is painfully slower than it should have been she's a quite a ways back and honestly she's running to get a few points here and there Blake Chandler catches Richler and Pellerin and this is now a battle for second position as Richardson peels away and runs with the lead Caitlin Richler and Pellerin and Chandler and here comes Kelly Ashcroft pushing McHenley into the battle and now Alan Patterson has held up the 58 and this is a dangerous this is dangerous for Ashley Richardson Patterson moves to the inside Richardson on the outside and this they are gonna have to split the 14 and they're gonna split him in a three wide with only 17 laps to go and Richardson's gonna take the lead back as the number two of Caitlin Richler on the inside of the 58 the old three is all over the 99 of Kelly Ashcroft all over each other and here comes Jennifer Irving ready to be lapped this is gonna be a lap car management finish as we are reaching 17 laps to go 17 laps to go this is the one you win it as uh, with Caitlin Richler on the inside Richardson on the outside Richardson clears Irving and here comes Kelly Ashcroft makes a move on the number two and Kelly Ashcroft is gonna take the position and Kelly Ashcroft trying to unlap herself because there are cars she needs to catch she needs to haul in order to gain a couple more positions as Mac Haley finds himself passing on the old tree of uh, Blake Chandler Rebecca Pellerin now no longer a factor she's dropping back and she's dropping back hard Kelly Ashcroft with fit with 14 laps to go ready to make a move on Richardson and now Richardson stuck between samples and Ashcroft it's a rock and a hard place Caitlin Richler ready to make the move Richardson makes the move first Richardson makes the move first the 99 of Kelly Ashcroft follows her and that's a position game for Kelly Ashcroft Kelly Ashcroft looking to get into the top 10 and that might just do it as Richardson hanging on to the position fighting and here comes Ashcroft with seven laps to go to the inside of Richardson and here comes Caitlin Richler this might be what helps Caitlin Richler Richardson does not have the speed to contest against against Ashcroft and here comes Richler on the inside for the lead with only four laps to go and Caitlin Richler is gonna cross the line in second place but it's still on the inside of the 58 you look at the bumper of McHenley this is what he's seeing right now these two cars side by side reaching Joey Torkson Torkson slower here and here Richler goes and clears the number 58 and here comes Blake Chandler and McHenley to clear the 58 as well and Joey Torkson ends up ends up holding Richardson back and there goes Caitlin Richler for first McHenley for second Blake Chandler for third and Richardson's gonna fall down to fourth place this is not what Richardson wanted at all as we come to the white flag and Richler has a clear path 
Ashcroft's quicker and Ashcroft's just not a factor anymore as Hanley, Chandler and uh, Richardson are still fighting for second place they do not look like they'll be able to catch Caitlyn Richler and rounding out the final corner to open the season in style HQS Racing was winless last year but no longer Caitlyn Richler snaps the streak Caitlyn Richler takes a late pass to win the race here in Lakeland with Mag Henley following her, Blake Chandler bringing a very important third place for the rookie effort with Ashley Richardson bringing fourth place. She led most of, that, of those late stages but the lap car of Kelly Ashcroft cost her in the end and almost five seconds behind Rebecca Pellerin. Uh, she had a couple of problems early but, were, but was able to fight them and she finishes in fifth. And closing the top 10, you see there Stan Gustafsson, Lucia Harper, a very good result for the Shield car. Peter Johnson, Corbin Dempsey makes it two Shield cars in the top uh, in the top 10. And Andrew Atwood finishes in 10th, a very good result despite being a lap down. Only five cars finished in the lead lap. But leaving Lakeland, despite the win, Caitlin Richler does not come out with the championship lead. That is Richardson. She's a part-time driver, but the bonus points she got during the whole race means she leaves uh, Florida with 45 points, one over Caitlin Richler, almost 10 over Rebecca Pellerin. And then McHenry exactly 10 points behind Blake Chandler, 11, Gustafson, Lucia Harper, Peter Johnson, Corbin Dempsey, and Andy Atwood close out the top 10 in the championship standings. In the Rookie of the Year power rankings, we had 9 rookies starting. Blake Chandler, Peter Johnson are somewhat close to each other with Andrew Atwood in tow. And then more than 10 points behind in the index are Charlie and Ryan Faulkner. Charlie, of course, an older driver. We shouldn't be considering him a rookie, but rules are rules. He even has wins in the North American Auto Club from a few years on behind, but he never contested a full season, so he was never classified as a rookie. Hibiki Murata, 6th place, Jennifer Irving, Kip Lemon, and Boyd Abbott. Unfortunately, the DNF cost him dearly. He did not score uh, more than 0.02 points in the index. However, he's going to have a shot at increasing the increasing his points haul in the next race of the season. The Corliss 150 in the Columbia Speedway in Case, South Carolina. Another short track race that should be very exciting. See you next time.